Right, so the ice is out, the geese are flying in, we've got open water, it's time for some spring pike fishing. So I'm going to be going over the top three presentations that I used to catch pike early in the spring, the techniques to use them, and where to throw them. Then we're going to hop in the car and head to a spot just downstream from a waterfall for some oxygenated water, mud bottom to hold the heat from the sun, with a couple creek runoffs pushing in nutrients and bait fish as well. It's a perfect condition and spot for northern pike in the spring. There, I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get on northern pike and hopefully get on a few myself. Now without further ado, let's get into lure choice number three, blades. Most of the year I'm going to be throwing a white spinnerbait with willow leaf blades, but earlier on in the season I prefer to use something with Colorado blades. The reason being, you can retrieve something with a Colorado blade a little bit slower, slow rolling it along the bottom, getting more of a wobble and more vibration while not putting as much speed into the action of the lure. Early season that's pretty important because these fish don't want to be chasing down anything that's going to expend too many calories, they're really looking to be efficient in this colder water. Other options for blades, little size down booker tails like you'd use for muskie. As the water starts to warm up later in the spring and the fish get more active, you can throw something like a big blade chatterbait or a TNA Tackle Micro Dragon. Pike absolutely love these, but it's not the best pick for day one. Very early spring, pike are a bit too lethargic. Blades are coming in at number three for early spring pike. My lure choice, taking it down to the water, is gonna be this Colorado Blade Spinnerbait, Black Spinnerbait, and I'm gonna be throwing it parallel to uh, old weed lines, maybe some ledges, and running it out of those feeder creeks I was talking about to mimic some bait fish. And I'll show you more when we're at the water. All right, lure category number two is swim baits. Now these are great all season, but especially early season, pike are loading up on bait fish to get ready for their spawn. Pike are looking for bigger meals with less effort. That said, I'd size up with your swim baits right now, but I'd also consider the size of your water body and the average size of the pike you're catching as well. And keep it small if the pike are. It's best to slow roll these, bumping it off cover on the bottom. For this lure category, my choice is gonna be the Storm 360 swim bait in white. It's a quarter ounce, and these are just great search baits. Come through cover really well, bounce off structure and all the same places I mentioned with the spinnerbait, feeder creeks, weed lines, and that's how you're going to want to use them early spring to entice a bite. It's going in the box for lure category number two. The last category and the number one lure choice for early spring fishing, not just for pike but pretty much any species, is a jerk bait. So we've got a lot of options with jerk baits. I like to use Smithwicks, X Wraps, Yozuri, Strike Pros, Duo Realis, Mega Bass, a whole bunch of different brands, right? Jerk baits are perfect for cold water fishing. The reason being, you can work it erratically and kind of cut it to grab a fish's attention, especially if it's a more white or silver color, you can put off a bit of a flash and then pause it, especially early this season, leaving a pause of three, four seconds and triple or quadruple the amount of bites that you're getting and the fish that you're landing. Sometimes you've got to let a bait hang there in front of them in a high percentage zone. And a lot of the time, those strikes are gonna come off the pause. So that said, my number one choice in the third lure going in my box today are gonna be X-Wraps and some Yozuri's in a chrome finish to really bring in that extra flash. We're gonna pack up the lures we we're talking about here today. We're gonna cast them around, talk about the best ways to use them, and hopefully show you everything you need to know to get on some nice pike this season. So we're out here with a selection of lures I was talking about earlier, got our spinner baits, jerk baits, and uh, swim baits. Hey, how's it going? Good to see you too. Glad to be casting. And uh, open water fishing. Yeah, can't believe it. Same day they're having the Constance Bay Pike Tournament today <laughs> through the ice. It's kind of uh, kind of incredible. Yeah, it's surreal for sure. Four feet right off the shore, Dad. All right. I think I'll start off with a classic. Oh yeah. A few tips for swim bait fishing, pike, bass, really anything in early spring. Just wanna really, really slowly roll it along the bottom there, kick up dirt behind you. Don't be afraid to throw in a couple yo-yos as well, but what you don't wanna do is burn it very quickly or keep it too high in the water column. This time of year, these fish are slow. They don't wanna chase anything down. They're really just looking for good opportunities to uh, capitalize on a slow moving meal. Parallel to the weeds there. Thinking, yeah, the edge of the yeah. blowout's probably the best spot here.
There we go, folks. All right, early spring, open water. Told you swim baits are a good way to get it done. Right on, little guy. Just uh, giving him a quick breath while my buddy Chris comes over. Of course, have to say hi to the first uh, fish of open water in 2024. Just a little pike. Oh, awesome. Way to go, man. Yeah. All right. Good at this bump. Place works. Let's find a clean place to let you go. Oh, not that way, buddy. Oh, yeah, I can't see him making his way out. Oh, that was awesome. This place is crawling with oh. I was worried it was coming to cut, but the fact that we got one under the belt is awesome. Right when you pulled up, I saw my uh, first flock of returning geese coming over. Go ahead and throw this Yozuri jerk bait. This has a nice flash. The thing about jerk baits, especially in the spring, is you can pause them for quite a while, let the fish dial in when they're moving a lot slower. That's how we're hoping them to uh, get on this next bike. Did they put a dock out here? Uh... No, there's just like a little gravel watch there that you can Okay. But you'll see people watching like 40 foot pontoons. And they just float down yeah, that just, way? Or... Yeah, go down all the way to Goleta. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, that's actually a decent fight. And that was the next cast too. Just with the jerk bait I just threw on. Yeah. He's death rolling me bad. Yeah, yeah a bit better one for sure. Oh, well, roughly the same size, but <laughs> a little bit bigger. It's your turn. All right, so we got our second pike of the day there on the jerk bait right after the cast on the swim, and we're gonna let him go. Go ahead. All right, sweet. Well, let's see if we can uh, get another one with this. So I was saying, one of the nice things about trick baits, you can cut it, get a fish's attention, then just let it float and kind of rise, sit there. And for those slower fish early on in the season, it's one of the best best presentations you can possibly give them. Ooh. Just got a visit from a little pike who followed us in, I guess, and then kind of kept preening right past us. Am I technically ice fishing right now? This is foolish. A couple of quick tips when you're fishing a jerk bait. And you want to jerk, jerk, pause. A little longer than you think you should. Make sure you get the slack gear line out before jerking again. So that way you'll feel the weight of the fish immediately and, and set the hook. If you leave too much slack in it, you'll, you'll uh, just jerk the bait. The fish will get spooked and you won't really set the hook well enough before it realizes uh, you're not what it thought it was biting on. Another one on the jerk bait. All right, bleeding a little from the mouth here. So quick, quick release on this guy. There he goes. So it's two on the jerk bait now, one on the swim bait. Another thing to look for in the spring, water runoff. Likely this is bringing nutrients, oxygen, maybe even warmer water and pushing it out here. So naturally, what's gonna happen, a lot of fish are gonna be hanging out kind of right around this outflow. That's a very deep outflow. <laughs> it's a lot deeper than it looks. So I'm gonna make my switch up now to a spinnerbait for a couple of reasons. One, uh, there's a lot more weeds right here. Two, the water's a lot dirtier here because of the water outflowing. So I think that something with a vibration, something with uh, an added flash to help them key in on it would probably be good in this area. Goodbye, Mr. Jerkbait. Little Mr. Spinnerbait. As I said, most of the year I prefer willow blades, but uh, during the spring, just so that you can slow it down, we'll roll it a little easier for the Colorados.
it looks like my buddy might have caught something over there. Could be releasing it right now. Hang on. No skunks today. No skunk. Switching back to the jerk bait. Probably too cold to be chasing down anything and really important to be able to give them the pause to key down on the lure. First geese I've seen of the season. There we go, there's another fish. Good one. Bike. Gotcha. This is a nice uh, spring bike here. So we got what we came for coming out with the jerk bait, swim bait. See the belly on this bike. We go ahead and get a release on this guy. Real fun bite, real fun catch. Hopefully we get out there soon. More slimy handshakes throughout the summer. Yeah, for sure. Last cast. Well folks, successful outing. First time hitting open water in 2024, managed to get on a good handful of pike. The lures I was talking about seem to work out. Two out of three today, jerk bait and on swim bait, I think it's maybe a bit too early in the season still to be getting them on spinner baits, even slow roll. I hope uh, some of the tips I was talking about today help you get on uh, a good northern pike this year. So thanks again for watching today's video about spring baits for northern pike. Thanks for watching Fishing with Ted. I'm Ted. Thank you for fishing with me. Catch you in the next one.